I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about business, a little bit about heavy waiters, okay? And I'm going to use our dear friend here, Pete Barberico, who's having a fucking laugh. What does he say? $50 a, a gram for 10K gold? That's a deal? And he's having a laugh. And, you know, I'm going to have to clear your head a little bit, Pete, and, and the 26 other morons that liked your comment, because they obviously don't know a fucking thing about business. They have an assumption that I'm going to be able to sell this chain for the same price as I sell that one per gram. How the fuck am I going to do that? All right, now let's come inside the Diamond District and see what the fuck is going on. So, let's uh, come behind the counter. I'll invite you, Pete. Come on in. Take this chain. You're, you're enjoying your trip to the Diamond District? 2.7 grams. This is a, a curb link with a diamond cut. This is its bigger brother. 113 grams. There's a lot of people there working, shopping. It's a real business and you're looking at a real businessman. I've been doing this for 17 years. I turned the corner in this fucking diamond district. I didn't have any fucking body there to even give a fuck about me. Now we just opened up our second shop. And I'll tell you how to, how to use your brain a little bit, Pete. The thing is this, in order for us to be able to pay the employees, pay the rent, pay the labor, you have to have a markup, right? When you're buying one, uh, three or four gram chain, obviously you're gonna have to pay a little bit of a premium for the service, for the, for the person standing here conducting the transaction with you. If you're buying a little bit something more heavyweight, you can obviously uh, get a better price. For instance, right, I got these Francos I just got in. I put these chains in here. This is about, uh, I got this little load right here. I spent about $800,000 on gold chains to put in this window for a start. You think uh, the guy who sold it to me was uh, bought it for $800,000 himself? He had a markup, but when you're buying $800,000, sure, a couple of dollars a gram, it adds up, right? You've got uh, 14, 15 kilograms. If you're buying this, you're not a heavy waiter. And there's a larger premium for the transaction fee for the person verifying the transaction if you're buying it online or for the service over here or whatever it is. In, in any case, I try to keep the price as reasonable as possible and divide the cost over uh, a large amount of transactions. But the heavy hitters, the heavy waiters, or with something like this or plenty more heavier chains, but these are the exact same link. Right? The heavy waiters obviously going to pay less. So there is no per gram price. What's the per gram price? Right? There is no per gram price. If you're buying more gold, you get a better price. If you're buying more diamonds, you get a better price. There's a scrap price for gold and it has a fundamental value, but this is not scrap gold. This has to have labor. I have to put this together. I have to rent this spot. I have to uh, hire and train uh, uh, people and make sure that uh, uh, things are accounted for and all these other things. These things cost money for you to be able to get the chain that you want. If you want a chain at the scrap price, go buy a gold bar and go in your basement and hammer it out and link it into a chain. And then you'll get the scrap price. And if you want a chain that's not made by you in a basement and made by machines or by hand or Miami Cubans or like this or like that, well, then you got to find a place to do business. And you have to cover the cost of business in a reasonable way. If I was sitting here selling only one chain or two chains a day, I wouldn't be able to even offer you the prices that I'm offering. For the smaller ones, it is what it is. For the larger ones, it's a better deal. I'm going to lay out the structure relative to the gold price. And there's another fucking thing. The things you guys learn from my videos, don't sit and start commenting and think you, you, you're going to one-up me. You're not the, the karate kid. You know what I'm saying? And, and you turn into my sensei over here. All right? I'll tell you what the fuck is going on. It's a business, and we're handling things the proper way. We're loading up chains. We got an objective of moving two kilos a day. And uh, you could come, in, uh, come on down, 14K, 10K, yellow gold, white gold. I love these Francos. 64 West 47th Street. I sent out some serious Cubans over here. There's nobody out there that's gonna take you 
inside their business and tell you what's going on like me. I have nothing to fucking hide. You think I'm gonna try to make a ton of money off a three gram chain and, and run off into the fucking sunset? And that's why I charge 50 a gram or whatever the fuck it is? Come on, bro.